This school will establish as a result of divine vision and revelation given to our founder, Dr. L. Clifford Kissing, in the state of Ohio in year 1931. We were later on incorporated in the state of California in year 1958. Since that time, we have established local grant schools throughout the United States, Canada, Africa, and several other foreign countries. Our local IMR Kingston grant school was established in Kingston, Jamaica in year 1988, and our Spanish now let me introduce to the official of our Spanish Home Branch, we have our dean, Dr. Donna Mitchell, and our superintendent, Dr. Irving Grant. In this school, we teach by the true, correct, and original name and title of our Heavenly Father, the Word of Son, and the Holy Spirit, which are contained in the original Hebrew text. The true name of our Heavenly Father is Yahweh. It has been improperly substituted with Lord. The true title of the Word of Son is Elohim. It has been improperly substituted with God. The true name of the Holy Spirit, manifested in or out of physical body is Yahshua. It has been erroneously substituted with Jesus Christ. Now, Lord and God are titles and not names. The Apostle Paul, filled with the Holy Spirit, tells us in 1 Corinthians 8 and 5 that we are Lord's many and God's many. But we now know that each Lord must have a name and each God must have a name also. Elohim is a title, but unlike Lord and God, Elohim is a divine title. This means that Elohim is a title that our Heavenly Father Yahweh chose for his name. Jesus is a name, but an erroneous name. A man of investigation on your part, in a dictionary or encyclopedia, will show proof that in the Hebrew language, the Greek or the Latin language, have any characters or letters in their alphabet that will produce a soul named by the letter J. And neither was the letter J in our English alphabet until some 1400 years after the death, burial, and resurrection of Yahshua the Messiah. Therefore, making such names as Jesus, Jah, and Jehovah are impossible and imperfect to the true and correct name of our Heavenly Father and His Son. Christ the title, just like Lord and God. Now, this is our Mosaic chart, and may I direct your attention. Yahweh is pure spirit, and in this state, He is incomprehensible, inscrutable, invisible, and inconceivable. Yahweh's ultimate source is the infinite and immaculate substance, is the limits and bounds of everything. Here, we have Yahweh symbolized on this chart as a cloud. However, Yahweh is not a cloud. Yahweh merely chose a cloud to symbolize or depict himself because a cloud has no particular descriptive shape or form. We have drawn this orange fire cloud all around the edges of this chart to show proof or that everything on this chart abided in the cloud. In like manner, does everything in the universe abided in the pure state of Yahweh. Now, Yahweh, the dead man could not perceive of him in this pure spirit state, he took on shape and form rather than himself as Elohim. This is the word of Son. A super incorporate being or great Elohim and anthropomorphic being. This thing is having the shape and form of a man, but with a flesh and blood. In this form, he can only be seen in divine vision and understood in divine revelation. Later on, this self same spirit manifested himself in the physical body and walked the earth plane as Yahshua the Messiah, the world around us called Jesus Christ. No, there's only one name given unto salvation and we must know this name. So, simply, yet intelligent question which should ask ourselves, what was the name of the Savior during the time he walked the earth plane? A further understanding of this name and title may be had by reading the previous of our old name band. Also, in this school, we teach by the divine pattern of the universe. It is called the divine pattern because it's Yahweh's pattern. After Yahweh, the children of Israel, out of Egypt, Yahweh called Moses on top of Mount Sinai and showed him his threefold pattern in a vision. Yahweh later on instructed Moses to build one exactly like it in the wilderness of Sinai. The pattern is consists of a most holy place, a holy place, and a court on the mouth. These three compartments make up this one tabernacle pattern. In this school, we go about showing proof or that everything in the universe is made and operated according to the structure and the function of this threefold pattern in that absolutely nothing is in this pattern. In our schools, we have ten primary aims and objectives and they are as follows. One is to help you find and know Yahweh or Elohim as it really is and as he actually exists. Two is to form a nucleus of universal brotherhood of humanity in Yahshua the Messiah without the distinction of race, nationality, Creed, sex, class, or color. Three is to investigate the unexplained spirit law, or the so called laws of nature and the powers latent in man. Four is to encourage and promote the study of the scriptures comparative to religion, psychology, philosophy, and
continue. And he said unto them, These are the words which I say unto you, while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled which are written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms. Pray 
Let us go three days journey to the So, the Arabic of the Hebrews. Salvation first came unto the Hebrews and then to the Gentiles. And Yahweh is very strict about his name. Yahweh said to him, Isaiah 14, verse 2. Isaiah 14, verse 2. I am Yahweh. That is my name. My Lord, I will not give to another, neither my praise to any given images. So Yahweh said that Yahweh is his name. I mean, his glory is not given to another, because his praise is not given to any images. Right. Because Yahweh's name is not just a name that existed when this world began. Right. Yahweh's name is an eternal name. Right. Isaiah 7, verse 6. Doubtless. Doubtless. The heart of our Father. Go in the name of the Hebrews. And his Israel acknowledge us not. Go now in our Father. Thy name is our last. Yahweh. He said that his name is from everlasting. That means his name does not come in the name of the extends to this time alone, but forevermore. Psalm 60. Sing unto Elohim. Sing unto Elohim. Sing praises to his name. Sing praises to his name. Extol him. And write it upon him by his name God. I rejoice before him. So, in the King James Version, you have Chad here. But it is Yah, because no J, no Jah. And Yahweh, Yah is the masculine part of Yahweh's name. So, Yahweh is 
and we sung it because unless Jaffa be in you, there's no hope of salvation. Mm -hmm. Jack, 
já vou na hora do outro. Then he said unto them, O fools and slow of heart, 
you look like that. So, but I try to teach in virtual English. So, teach in virtual English. And that is to think of, like I said, I am the creator. The creator is the spirit. And the spirit, the living thing, the spirit, the I am the I am the living thing in the spirit. So, I am the one that is the only thing, but I can be. And that's not the spirit. The spirit can be what you think. I want to be.
But by my name, John, was I not moved to them? Right. So you said in Yahweh, you might move to them, but this one, you know, you know, you get me? Sorry. All right, we're going to get there, we're going to get there, we're going to get there. But this is one thing, okay, I have to say. This is the name of the Savior, Yahshua. And in case it's a day, come up with a water. So, death, burial, resurrection, and the water. The name of the dust is Genesis. You understand? You understand? You understand? But you have to go, you have to tell that you never get to come up here. The name of the dust. The name is Yahweh, the name is Yasha. Yasha is the name of the dust. The soul is the name of the dust. So, Yasha is the name of the dust. And the dust is the death, burial, resurrection, ascension. Matthew and she shall bring forth a son, and shall call his name Yashua, right. for he shall save his people from his sins. Right. Alright, get me.